Hello, my name is Apollinar Madrigal and I am a general dentist practicing in California. And for today's practice inspiration video, I'm gonna be talking to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that is periodontal disease. Mainly, how to increase hygiene production using something called the soft tissue management program. So the soft tissue management program is a three area program implemented by Denmat, which uh, deals with detection, treatment, and prevention of periodontal disease. So why did I choose this uh, particular subject? Well, there's three reasons. Number one, I wanted to have happier, healthier patients. Number two, I wanted to have a happier, more productive staff. And number three, well, like every business owner, I wanted to increase my profits. So that's exactly what STM is. STM is about the three Ps. Patients, making sure that they're happy and healthy by treating their periodontal disease. Our staff, or our people, making sure that they're happy by following a protocol so that they know what they're doing with every single patient. And ultimately, this is gonna lead to more profits. Why? Because if we take care of our people and we take care of our patients, we're gonna have a successful business. So what is STM? STM is a soft tissue manager program that's really an organized system for early detection, treatment, and maintenance of periodontal disease. So let's start off with the first area, which is detection. So what is detection? Well, normally when we're doing an exam, we tend to focus more on the restorative side of, the, of our treatment. So what do we do? We check every margin, we stick every groove, and we we'll sound the alarms whenever we see something that doesn't quite make sense. But what about with periodontal disease? Well, I've noticed that in my practice, I would rarely probe I would do bloody prophies, which my hygienist definitely loved, and we would just clean them up, that's it, do whatever their insurance covered. So was I really doing a benefit for my patients? The truth is, I really wasn't. So the goal of disease detection is to detect the disease, eliminate it before it makes further destruction, and make sure that we prevent it from ever getting back to that place where it was before. So this is just an example of what we were doing in our office. Current chart, our office had about 15 to 20 new patients per month, and we were treating around 80 of, of those patients with just regular POFIs. We were doing 13 scaling and root planings, whether it's limited or full mouth SRPs, and about 16 uh, periodontal maintenances. So what does this ultimately mean? This means that of 110 patients, only 29 of them were being treated for periodontal disease. Now, is that good or is that bad? Well, that equates to 26%. And according to the ADA, periodontal disease is prevalent in 47.2% of Americans. Now, that's counting children and adults. My practice was not a, a practice that was just limited to children. It was actually mainly for adults. So really, my number should be over 70% because the patients that are over 65 years of age have a prevalence of over 70% of periodontal disease. What this meant was that periodontal disease was being underdiagnosed, it was being undertreated, and ultimately what it really meant was that I was failing my patients. Why? Because I wasn't detecting their problems, I wasn't treating them, and I definitely was not preventing them. So let's go ahead and see what the STM program did for me. With STM, I learned how to actually detect the disease. So this all starts by making sure that we take a, fa a, a nice uh, family history, um, a nice health history, because there's a lot of predictors that are gonna be involved whenever we're talking about periodontal disease. If the patient has diabetes, if uh, there's a genetic predisposition, if there's any medication, any stress, all this leads to periodontal disease. So we need to take the time to talk to our patients about all this so we can be able to educate them better. It also means that we need to pick up our probe and start charting correctly. So this is what a chart should look like because we're taking into consideration every single aspect of periodontal disease. We're making sure that we're, uh, we're charting bleeding on probing, that we're charting clinical attachment levels, the gingival margin, the pocket depth, the attachment loss, furcation involvements, mobility. Not only that, 
but we need to also communicate this with our patients. While we're doing the exam, it's very important to call out those numbers to make sure that the patient understands that anything above three millimeters or anything bleeding is indi indicative of an, of an infection that's actually happening in their mouth right now. So this is gonna open that dialogue with our patients and is gonna uh, communicate with them and we're gonna be able to form a little bit more trust so that when we're presenting the treatment to them, they understand exactly what's going on. We also need to uh, make sure that we communicate with them the risk assessment. So what does this mean? We need to tell them that the deeper the pocket, the higher the risk. We need to tell them that the greater number of the pockets, the higher the risk. We need to tell them that the more, more bleeding points, we have a higher risk for infection. We have more infection going in our mouth and this disease is not gonna be controlled unless we actually treat it. So if we do accurate periodontal probing and charting, we're gonna have successful diagnosis. So what does this mean? This means that now we can move on from diagnosis to the treatment phase. So what is the treatment phase? What was I doing? What are you doing when you're having bleeding gums and zero, three, zero to three millimeter pockets? Are you just doing bloody prophies? What about to three to four millimeters with bleeding on probing? What about anything over five millimeters? Well, in my office, there really wasn't a protocol that would tell me what to do for each one of these. It was really one to three, I would just do a prophy. Four millimeter pockets, but the patient really didn't want to pay anything else but with their insurance covered, prophy. Was I really treating my patients correctly? No, I wasn't. So the STM program creates a protocol where we have three different programs. Program one is from patients that have zero to three millimeter pockets, but they have bleeding, so they have gingivitis. Patients who have three to five millimeter pockets that have early periodontitis, they will, they will be classified in program two. And program three is five and six million rare pockets or anything above that doesn't require surgery. So this means that these are there's specific protocols that are actually gonna be taking care of those patients, but not only taking care of them, we're also gonna be making a profit in our office. Why? Well, an STM case one ranges from about 550 to $700. STM2 is about 900 to 1300, and an STM3 is 1000 to 1800. So this isn't just doing one cleaning one day. We're talking about periodontal therapy here. You can see that every single one of these cases actually has a, a free, or the, it's included with, with, with their fee, a rotary toothbrush. Not only that, but we're also using home care medication. We're also using antibiotics, local antibiotics, we're using lasers. Whatever needs to be done to treat that disease to make sure that our patients are back to health. So just an example of what, we, of what an, uh, an STM case looks like, we have this chart right here. So the STM case type two would have three different therapy sessions. So these therapy sessions include scaling and root planing, any home medications, that rotary toothbrush, anything that we need to make sure that we take care of those patients. Not only that, but we also have the codes that are necessary for billing their insurance. So what's happening? This is a great way to communicate with our patients and tell them, you know what? This is great for your insurance. We have all these different treatments that we're gonna be doing, but the good news is that your insurance actually covers most of them. Why? Because the insurances will cover these codes. So the STM program provides you the codes that are needed for billing purposes. That way we can go ahead and make sure that your patients are getting the maximum benefit from the dental insurance. So what do we do after we treat their patients? Well, now we make sure that we're preventing the disease from ever occurring again. Okay, why? Well, prevention is really to protect the patient from oral disease. There's no use in us treating it if we're not preventing it. How do we prevent it? We're using fluorides, we're using home medication to help our patients, but not only that, we're also making a profit. Why? Well, because all this costs something, but the patients value now their oral health. They value their periodontal um, health. So this just translates to them actually paying the office. So a lot of patients say, I can't afford prevention. And the truth is, if you can't afford prevention, then you can definitely not afford to have the disease. Where is prevention going? Well, every day 
our offices are becoming more and more uh, prevention based. We're leading to, uh, to higher pr uh, prevention, especially with tooth decay and periodontal disease, because it's the right thing for the patients. It's profitable, it drives production, and it also helps make sure that we don't have any secondary decay. So our restorations are gonna last longer because we know that the number one reason for restoration failure is because we're not preventing it. So excellence in patient care is the best marketing strategy. If we're keeping these patients healthy, they're being happy and happy patients refer more patients to us. And that's ultimately what we want. So what are you doing with your six months uh, recall, recare patients? Are you making sure that they're being diagnosed correctly? And not only that, but when they leave from their first appointment that they already have their second appointment already established every six months? Well, if you're not, you're letting money walk out the door. What about um, the 90 day recall patients? Patients we know that have periodontal disease, they can be stabilized every three months. If we stabilize them every three months, we can be sure that that disease is gonna be under control and we're not gonna cause, or the disease is not gonna cause any further damage to the uh, periodontal health. So what are we doing with those patients? What are we doing with the patients that are every three and four months? If we're letting them walk out the door, what does this mean? We're really losing money. Not only that, we're losing patients. And the practice cannot function without patients. The number one thing we need in our offices are patients, patients, patients. So it's not about acquiring more new patients. It's really about keeping the ones you have. If you keep the ones you have, and if you keep them healthy, then we're actually gonna generate more referrals. And what does more referrals mean? More profit. So doing the right thing for our people and our patients, the natural consequence is gonna be a successful and profitable practice. So next time that you go into your office, I wanna make sure that you pick up that probe, drop the Explorer, and look at it like this. It's, it's not something that you're gonna like uh, from a dentist's point of view. We really don't like talking about money, but ultimately this is what it means. Uh, a three millimeter pocket, it's about $500. A uh, six millimeter pocket, it's 1300. Anything above that, it's really 1800. So the SCM program shows you how to make perio treatment profitable. But it's making it profitable because you're helping your patients. So this is just a little, um, a little story, I guess, or, or, or I wanna show you how my office was functioning before I used STM. So I would bring in a lot of managers to help me manage my office, make it more profitable, make everything function correctly, make sure that my staff was happy and my staff was being productive. And we got to about $120 uh, of production per hygiene hour. This means that it was about 2.5 to three times the salary of my hygienist, which my, my, uh, my consultant was very happy with that. They said, you know what, this is great. That is our goal. Our goal is to have three times the hygiene salary for our, our hygiene production. Well, after I implemented the hygiene uh, program with the soft tissue management system, what happened was just incredible. Not only was I having healthier patients, but my production skyrocketed to $250 per hour. This is five times the hygienist salary. So why, why does this work? Well, because we're doing a total periodontal therapy. We're treating everything that we need to treat to have those patients healthy. Not only that, but we're seeing patients more often now. We're making sure that the patients are treated accurately for whatever it is that they have. If they have periodontal disease, if they have probings that are five millimeters with bleeding, that is not healthy, that is not normal. We need to make sure that we address this. So the STM rationale behind this is encompassing all the aspects that we need for periodontal therapy and actually treating the patients correctly. I want to finish up, finish up just by uh, showing you this last case of a patient that came into my office asking for just a cleaning because she only wanted to pay what her insurance covered. What did we do? We used the STM program, detection, treatment, and prevention. We started off with detection. We made sure that we probed every single tooth. We documented every single mobility, all the bleeding on probing. Not only that, but we also took pictures. And we see right here, we have from nine to 10, 10 millimeter pockets. We, we, were open, we were able to open a dialogue with our patient. We showed her the STM program uh, case that she fell under. 
not only that, but we explained to her how we were going to get her from point A to point B. And we took her from something like this to this in a matter of six months. So what happens now? Now we need to make sure that we maintain that there, that we prevent this from ever happening again. The patient is now educated to where they know or she knows that her periodontal health is our priority. Not only that, but it's also becoming more profitable for office. So what does STM do? It really just makes hygiene easier for everyone. The patient's happier and healthier. Our staff is happier and more, pro more productive. And the dentist is happier. Why? Because our patients are happy, our staff is happy, and our business is going great. Thank you.